In this video, we're going to focus on three-dimensional coordinate systems and how to plot points using it. So how can we plot this point? Let's say the point 2, 4, 3. How can we do so? Now first, let's discuss the difference between the two-dimensional system and the three-dimensional system. Most of you are familiar with this graph. So this would be the x-axis and this is the y-axis. Now, for a three-dimensional coordinate system, it's going to be a little different. So this is going to be the y-axis. This is now the z-axis. And the x-axis is sort of coming towards you. Now, to plot the first point, we need to know what is x, what's y, and what's z. And it goes in order, alphabetical order, x, comma, y, comma, z. So x is 2. Let's plot that on the x-axis. So 2 is somewhere in this region. Now, let's plot the y-coordinate, which is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Here it is. Now, what I'm going to do at this point is draw a dashed line parallel to the x-axis. Let me do this carefully. And you can extend it as far as you want. And then, starting with the point, this point here, at 2 on the x-axis, I'm going to draw a dashed line parallel to the y-axis. And so, where those two dashed lines intersect, that's going to be the point of interest. So, in the x-y plane, I have the point 2, comma 4. Now, the last thing I need is... The, the z coordinate, which is 3. So let's go up 3 units along the z axis. So I'm going to draw a dashed line that's parallel to the z axis. And if you want to, you can just go up 3 units along that dashed line and say that's going to be the point 2, 4, 3. Now you have to make sure that this length is the same as this length here. But if you want to avoid mistakes, here's something else that you could do. Let's take away that point. So what I'm going to do is travel two units along the x-axis. And if you want to, you can draw another line parallel to the z-axis here. So this is the next point of interest. And then from that point, travel four units parallel to the y-axis. And so you get this point of intersection. And it is this point that we're looking for. This is point P. So as you can see, we traveled two units along the x-axis. And then we traveled four units parallel to the y-axis, and finally, three units parallel to the z-axis. And that will take us to the point 2, comma 4, comma 3. And that's basically it. That's how you can graph a point in a three-dimensional coordinate system. But for the sake of practice, let's try another example. You could try this if you want. Go ahead and graph the point 3, comma, negative 4, comma 5. Feel free to try it. So let's begin by drawing the y-axis. Okay, that's not straight. The z-axis and the x-axis. So x is 3, y is negative 4, and z is 5. So let's travel 3 units along the x-axis. So here it is. And now, we need to travel 4 units along the y-axis, but we have a negative 4 value. So in this case, we need to go in the other direction. If you want to, you could just make it a solid line. So let's travel 4 units this way, along the negative y-axis. Now, we need to 
find the intersection of these two points if we draw two parallel dashed lines. So I'm going to start with this point and draw a dashed line that's parallel to the x-axis. And then starting with this point here, I'm going to draw a dashed line that's parallel to the negative y-axis. So here is the point of intersection. I'm going to focus on that point next. Now let's travel five units up along the z-axis. And starting with this point here, let's draw a dashed line that's parallel to the z-axis. I know my graph is not perfect, but I'm going to try to make it as accurate as possible. So let's start with this point, 0, 0, 5. And let's draw a dashed line that's parallel to the x-axis. And let's make sure that if we draw a line parallel to the z-axis, it will intersect with this point. Now from here, let's draw a line that's parallel to the y-axis. And so this is the point of intersection. If you want to, you can basically draw a three-dimensional rectangle. As you can see, my graph is not perfect, but it sort of looks okay. But the point that we want is approximately in that region. So we traveled three units along the positive x-axis, and then four units parallel to the negative y-axis. And finally, we traveled up five units parallel to the z-axis. And so that will give us the point 3, negative 4, 5. And that's basically it for this video. That's all I got. So I just want to give you an introduction into graphing in three-dimensional systems. So thanks again for watching. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe and turn on that notification bell.